hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i wanted to talk quickly upon something related to aws costs so i mean this feature was actually launched somewhere around november last year and it's it's actually becoming really amazing in terms of cost management in aws right so this is called savings plan so if you haven't heard about it so savings plan are basically flexible pricing model that are offered by AWS in exchange for a commitment of a period, I mean, a certain compute power over a period of, say, one year or three years. So, I mean, if you if you take it, it's something like the reserved instance where you commit for like one year or three years. Right. But this is for your on demand instances. So, I mean, for reserved instances, you get a particular amount of reserved uh, instances amount right which on which you get heavy discounts similarly if you're running most of your workloads on on-demand instance and you don't want to go into reserved instances you can go for the savings plan so saving plan actually offer you hefty discounts so like there are two types of saving plans so one is the compute saving plans and the other one is ec2 instance saving plan so compute basically covers a lot of uh, resources in aws it automatically applies to EC2 instance usage, AWS Fargate, AWS Lambda service uh, usage, regardless of instance family size, AOAZ region, anything, right? And EC2 instance type of saving plan actually offers a much more discount on the EC2 instance, uh, only on EC2 instance, depending upon the size uh, of the particular EC2 instance, right? So like this says, EC2 instance saving plans give you a flexibility to change your usage between instance within a family in that region. So this is more EC2 centric type of plan. So how to get started with this? So first thing you need to do is you need to go into AWS cost explorer. So if you just go and type cost explorer, you will get this service to just go on to this. So right now, right now I am on AWS cost explorer uh, console. And on the left hand side, you will see savings plan. And to begin, uh, I mean, planning your savings, you need to go to recommendations. So once you are on recommendations, so here you have, you can select the type of uh, savings plan you want. So right now it's compute saving plan, which is selected by default. If you want, you can select the EC2 instance saving plan. Then if you scroll down below, you have the term. So either you can commit for one year or you can commit for three years. And the payment option so if you want to pay everything upfront or partial upfront or no upfront and this analytics would be based on your past you can select the number of days so suppose if you want to select say on based on your usage in past 60 days right so what have you what is your usage has been uh, of on-demand instance in past 60 days so that will give you a better idea of how exactly are you using the on-demand on-demand instances in aws right so like, I mean, this is my personal account, so I can barely, I mean, I barely pay less than a thousand bucks for a month. So that is why you see there are no recommendations. This is actually helpful for organizations that are paying like millions of dollars a month, uh, AWS bills, right? So for them, it will show their current usage of on-demand instance and the per hour, dollar per hour usage. So like suppose $300 per hour. So a big organization would be spending around somewhere around $500 per hour, $600 per hour. And then it's going to show you your monthly spend after you apply the savings plan. And here it will show you your monthly saving. And this could be very well, well in range of around 70%. I mean, if you like, if you select a three year plan and you pay everything upfront, you can save up to like 70%, but on a minimum, it is going to save you around 15% to 20% I mean, on a minimum. I mean, if you do no upfront and you just commit for one year, you are going to save around like, I mean, I did this for an organization. So I saw their savings. It was, I mean, they were paying in like $300,000 month, a month. Uh, their bill was around $300,000 $300, a month. And after implementing this uh, savings plan, uh, this compute saving plan, they were saving around $70,000 a month, $70,000 a month. So you can imagine how much they were saving for whole year, right? 
yeah and once you are happy you can just add that particular uh, savings plan to your cart it will show here in your cart and then you can buy, go and buy this particular saving plan and it will i mean it takes some time to basically apply but it will apply to all your uh, resources depending upon the type of savings plan you have chosen right yeah so this is what i wanted to show you for this i mean i found this uh, around a week back about this so this was actually a very booming topic the savings plan so people were talking about savings plan in aws community so i thought i should let you guys know and you i mean if you're working for an organization that is playing paying millions of thousands of dollars in aws bills so probably you and if you are not exploring savings plan probably you can go and explore the savings plan and see how much money you can i mean it will be a good kra for you and it will show i mean you can basically ask for a hike from your company if you save them like even say twenty thousand thirty thousand dollars a month right so that will that will actually look good on your resume all right so yeah this is it for this video guys this is all i wanted to show you i hope you liked the video please do let me know in the comments if you have any doubts about savings plans and i will get back to you uh yeah and that's it thank you for watching guys